Let's talk about components and how to use your custom design system in Magic Patterns so that it looks like your existing product and matches your existing designs. You might have a problem with other tools. How do I reuse certain components? I have a nav bar, I have a search input, I have a logo. How do I use that on every design? And how do I get my team using it so that every single AI generated output uses my components? We are going to explain in the next few minutes how in Magic Patterns, I can get my account looking like this, where I can go to my library and I can see I have various components here that my team can reuse in every single design. So let's create our first component together. Notice I'm going to go into component mode. You only want this when you're creating a reusable Lego brick, the button, the input, the search bar, the nav bar, the sidebar. And so first I'm going to select my preset. In this case, I have a Stripe preset because let's say I'm a designer or a product manager at Stripe. And I'm gonna create a new library called Stripe. You'll see my preset already includes some of my default Stripe colors that I already filled in here, some of the hex codes. To create my first component, I have a few options in Magic Patterns. One simple option is taking a screenshot. For example, I can go to Figma, go to my components, and simply take a picture of the button component. Now, again, I'm in component mode, and I can paste that into Magic Patterns. And then I can simply hit enter. And that will create my button component. I have a few other options. Using the Magic Patterns Chrome extension, I can import a section from any website. This includes components, and this includes websites like Storybook. As an example, here's my storybook for my Stripe design system. And if I go to the preview window, you can see I can use the Magic Patterns Chrome extension and using shift, I can select everything. And now I'm converting these components and importing them into Magic Patterns. I click convert, I select Stripe. And after a few seconds, there's my component straight from storybook, one click in Magic Patterns. I can now publish this to use it in my existing designs. So how do we use these components in my design? Let's make sure we're in design mode. And with presets, it's automatic. Notice my Stripe preset, and I am connecting it to my Stripe component library that we just created. So now let's prompt for an invoice dashboard. My design is now finished in just one prompt. Of course, we can iterate further, but notice how it's using the components that we've created. If I go to the code tab here, we'll see there's my button, there's my payments icon, my search input, and it's reusable and standard across my team. I can even be more specific and reference a component directly. For example, I can say, use my at Stripe payments icon in the cards. Now let's talk about updating and upgrading components. So let's say I made an update to my pill button. Let's say update the hover effect to not be black. It should be purple. Of course, I could paste in an exact hex code or something, but let's update it. And you'll see after the update here, I have unpublished changes. So I'm going to publish a new version of the component. Now let's go back to my design because I wanted to use the latest pill button. If I go to my design and I go to the code tab and I look at the pill button that we just updated, you'll see here I can upgrade to latest. And once that's done, it's now using the latest version of that pill button. Now let's talk about detaching or editing components directly in a design. If I want to edit the pill button or the payments icon just in this design specifically, I'm gonna click here and click detach component. What that does is it's basically detaching it from that Lego brick. It's letting us edit it specifically in this design as a one-off. The final feature to show you is permissions. We have a full suite of team collaboration features for libraries. If I go to my library, I can click share library to share it with everyone in my team or individuals who will have right access to the library. And that's components on magic patterns. Happy prompting.